Celebrities have been squaring off against wrestlers for decades, but they don't always wait for the bell to ring to start the fight. These are several incidents where celebrities jumped the barricade and attacked wrestlers. Back in 2008, the undefeated boxer Floyd Mayweather sat front row at a WWE show to support his friend Rey Mysterio, but he got a little more than he bargained for. Rey ended up losing his match against Edge, and the Rayonar superstar left Mysterio pretty beaten up. Almost immediately after the contest, the Big Show made his return. To make a statement on his first night back, the world's largest athlete wrapped his hand around the helpless Rey Mysterio and started shouting at Mayweather. Just before the giant could hit Mysterio with a choke slam, Floyd jumped into the ring to save his masked friend. Big Show wasn't phased and started taunting the boxer by shoving Floyd around and getting down onto his knees. Finally, Floyd Mayweather had enough and delivered some lightning fast punches before hightailing it out of the arena with his crew. Furious, Big Show chased after Mayweather, knocking down anybody that got in his way. Thankfully, Shane McMahon was there to calm the giant down. If there's a lesson to be learned here, it's that if a WWE wrestler invites you to watch their match, you're probably going to end up getting involved. The three-time Super Bowl champion, Rob Gronkowski, learned this at WrestleMania 33 when he sat front row to cheer on his real-life friend, Mojo Rawley. Rawley was one of the 33 participants in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and held his own as the match wore on. Finally, there was just three wrestlers left, Killian Dane, Jinder Mahal, and Mojo. The modern day Maharaja sent the former hype bro through the middle rope and continued his assault on the outside. After he noticed Rob Gronkowski, Jinder Mahal started taunting the football player by taking his drink and throwing it back at his face. Not happy with Jinder's attitude, Gronkowski decided to take things into his own hands. He hopped over to the barricade, and after a brief moment where one security guard thought it was real, the six and a half foot New England Patriot entered the ring. He got into a running stance, and when the moment was right, charged forward and sent Jinder Mahal flying. Mojo took care of the rest, and after winning the match, the two celebrated in the ring. Going back to 2000, the infamous David Arquette was sitting front row on an episode of WCW Thunder to help promote the recently released Ready to Rumble. The main event of the evening was between Bam Bam Bigelow and Diamond Dallas Page, and this is when the actor had to get involved. During the match, Eric Bischoff and Jeff Jarrett interfered and knocked out Page. Arquette came to his friend's aid by getting on the top rope and diving into Bischoff. Jeff Jarrett quickly grabbed David Arquette and threw him over the top rope and proceeded to beat him all around the ringside area. The Chosen One concluded his attack by laying out the Star of Ray Rumble with his finishing move. Ironically, just two weeks later, Arquette would win the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. During Cody Rhodes' run of Stardust, he got into some beef with the Green Arrow, Stephen Amell. It began in May of 2015 when Amell was seeing Front Row and joining an episode of Raw. While Stardust was making his entrance, he spotted the actor and got up close and personal. The Green Arrow scared the Prince of Dark Matter away that time, but their next encounter wasn't so peaceful. A little over two months later, Stephen Amell is once again in attendance for Raw. Stardust ran into the ring and ambushed Neville, who had just won a match. After the assault, the interdimensional Oddity took the opportunity to reintroduce himself to Stephen Amell, but this time decided to rough him up a bit by shoving the superhero down onto his seat. Amell didn't take kindly to this and jumped the barricade and tackled Stardust. Security broke it up just as soon as the fight began, but Stephen Amell still managed to get a few punches in. While Amell made an enemy that evening, he also made a friend in Neville. Floyd Mayweather and Stephen Amell's attacks are my favorites, but which ones were yours? Leave an answer in the comments and hit the video on the right to check out the times superhero actors attack WWE wrestlers. I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.